Is that why you said my stone to bed? Lip sealed. Mm -hmm. mm. Come to baby. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh, come oh, here. No. Thomas, how are you doing, man? You're out? No, 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 wait there. I'll, I'll come and meet you. All right. What is it? That was Thomas. He wants to show me some documents. Oh, okay. Back in a minute. Find out that I doing hard drugs, man. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. So who wants this? Oh, this is for Al Haji Idris. All right. I'll get Sam to supply him this. Sam? Yeah, he's one of my foot soldiers. Or oh, do you want to supply him this? No, no, no. Um, that is why I came to you. Just that I don't know the Sam you mentioned. But you don't have to know my foot soldiers. You don't know my agents. What's wrong with you? Anyway, listen, I'll see you at the office, okay? All right. All right. Look, nonetheless, I see. Uh, I am so confused. Confused. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else okay. to do. Let's go. My life, oh, my life. Oh, my life is falling. Oh, honey. Hey. You guys are still here? I'm gone already? Yes, we're almost late. Where's Thomas? Um, he's gone. Oh, okay. Yeah. You guys know what? What? I think I will take you guys to Dubai for the summer holiday. Oh, that I'm for real. I'm for real. I'm for oh real, buddy. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, honey, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're thank welcome. You. Let's go and enjoy yourself in Dubai for two weeks. Right? Yes. Oh, honey, you're such a darling. Mm, Thank you. Okay. And don't forget, you promised to make my birthday party very big. Baby, that's signed, sealed, and delivered, and soon to be executed on the D day. Mm. I got you, girl. Baby, did you hear that? Yeah. You're the witness, though. I got you, girl. I got you. Mm. I got you. Okay. Mm. Mm. Mwah. All right, darling. All right, you guys have Let's fun. go. Almost Thank late. <sighs> okay, hurry up. <sighs> All these salespeople, same old, same old. This is machine. Check it out. Put it on the back. Open the book, let's see. You know, I think my wife, my wife would like this one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand why get her another car, but your wife has a car. Well, she has a car, but this is a better car than her one. This is an SUV. And you see if you have the car, she can get as many as you like. <laughs> yeah, this is a better gift. 
it's your business now, so you have to say anything. Exactly. That's, that's the fact now. No, this is. Just this... listen to me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she like this car. I mean, my wife, is, she's into cars. And she's a better driver than me and this dude here. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. All right. Um. This one. That's another machine down here. Come on, man. <laughs> Ah. Mr. Dibayo, how far? The visa's to Dubai already. That's good. All right, do me a favor. Send it to my email address. All right, thank you very much. Yes, come in. Send it. Zenit Obodo. You, you were in prison. I mean, when did you get back to Nigeria? I mean, you were in prison for what? Ten years. I was jailed for ten years by the Italian government. But after four years, the Italian government thought it wise to set me free. Really? I got out of jail three weeks ago. How long have you been back in Nigeria? Last week. And how did you find me? <laughs> hey. hmm. Hmm. Mr. Francis. It's a small world, you know. And there is nothing hidden under the sun. Regina. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, good morning. How are you? I'm good, and you? I am cool. You're looking so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I hope you're going to dance for us at your birthday party tomorrow. Of course. I will dance more than anyone else. <laughs> but where's the venue? No, no way. I'm not going to tell you. It's a secret. Are you serious? Yes. Your husband specifically warned me not to tell you. Uh-oh. But I... the rest are short. It's going to happen in one of the biggest hotels in this city. Yeah! I chose my husband. He never disappoints. I'm sure you're not going to tell me the venue. No, no, I will not tell you. But make sure nobody outdances you tomorrow. No. Trust me, you know I know how to dance. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you know I know how to dance very mm. well, though. Uh -huh. I'll be watching you. But try, tell me now. I want to know. You're right. Come on. Okay. Welcome back. I'm glad you are out of jail. Spare me that rubbish. You wanted me to rot away in jail. That was the reason you did nothing to help me out. Come on, Zenit, that's not true. My hands were tied. And Godfather warned me not to get involved when he found out that the matter was beyond him and the manifold syndicate. Blunt and lie. You lured me into drug trafficking and you abandoned me when I needed you the most. All right, calm down. Okay, let me explain. I don't want your explanations. Six years ago, I came to you because I needed financial aid. And what did you do? You wanted money and I gave you a job that fetched you that money. The same job landed me in jail. Well, you knew the risk, but you took the job. <laughs> Very well done. I am here to get my own share of the cookie. What nonsense are you talking about? Mr. Francis, what happened to the cocaine Sammy was to pick from you the day he was shot? What kind of question is that? Answer my question! I wasn't there when they shot Sammy, okay? I was in my hotel room in Milan. 
And I ask you again, what happened to the cocaine Sammy was to pick from you before he was killed? Well, I assume the police must have taken it when they shot him. The police? The police only reported they found a gun on him and nothing more. Well, the police will report what they want to report. The police reported the facts. And how do you know that? I was with Sammy when you called him to come pick up the stuff. I left him to go do my supply and I was nabbed by the police. Sammy saw that the police had nabbed me and wanted to run and he was shot. Apparently, the police were coming to get him. And you were smart enough to tell Godfather that Sammy had already picked up the stuff from you before he was killed. Are you listening to me? I don't know what nonsense you're talking about. All I know is that the police shot Sam on his way to deliver those drugs. Same day that you were caught. Very well then. I'll go to Godfather with my evidence. What evidence? Mr. Francis, the street worth of 1.950 kg of cocaine is about one million dollars. And that was what you stole from Godfather. Oh, stop talking nonsense. <laughs> well, I learned that Godfather executed a man and his entire family last week because the man was trying to play smart with him. You see, you have a beautiful family. Think about it and have a nice day. Hold up. Yes. What do you want? Smart guy. <laughs> Mr. Francis. I learned that you are going to throw a very big party for your wife tomorrow. This is what I want. Cancel the birthday party and I will see you soon. <laughs> Honey, welcome. Hey, thank you. How are you? Look was good. I'm good. Okay. Francis. Yeah. What is the problem? Are you okay? I don't think it's fine. But you don't look fine. Woman, I said everything is fine. Taking any drug? Yeah, yeah. I've taken something. Okay. I feel better though. Okay. Okay, baby. Right. Um, go and have your shower. Let me fix your dinner. Yeah, but before that, I want to talk to you about something. What is it? All right. It's your birthday party. Okay. We can have it tomorrow. Why? Listen, I will explain to you later. I was strongly advised by two of my guys in security that we should cancel it. But did they see what the problem is? Well, you know these guys are suddenly... You know these guys are suddenly explain what the problem is. Just told me to cancel the thing for our own security. Ah, but honey, you can get some people... Woman, jeez! I don't want to argue with you, okay? Our lives are more important than any birthday party.
am a m i am a boy i am a girl uh -huh. i am a boy so i am a boy uh -uh, don't be fast now so you know it then why did you ask me to come here and teach you ah uh, baby hey good morning good morning son how's the night fantastic yeah. breakfast is ready Oh uh, no, I'm running late for work now. Not even a bite? So I'll see you guys later in the evening. And okay. Happy birthday one more time, darling. Happy like birthday one more time. Yeah. And I'll make it up to you, okay? Okay, uh... <laughs> you didn't even wait for me to finish. saying on the phone because I don't understand you. What did I say? Your wife's birthday party that it's not holding again. Yeah, um, I, that is cancelled. I'm not holding anymore. Why? Yes, I have my reasons, okay? I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something else. You know, you... But you've already paid for the venue. God damn it, man. I said I don't want to talk about it. What's wrong with you? Hmm. You know what? I gotta go out. Where? To where? I need to go somewhere. Come, come on, be going, please. I want to lock my office. Come on, be going now. I'll lock inside here. Francis, you're chasing me out of here. I'm office. not. I want to go out. Come on, be going. Come, please. Be going. Okay. 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 It has gotten to this. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. 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 No okay. problem. Driving, I'm just. No I'm problem. No problem. Uh, First to do, no they pay. Come on, be going. No. <laughs> Nonetheless, I see her. I am so confused. confused. I don't know what else to do. No one else. Hi, sweetheart. Mm. How did you know I was here? Or are you stalking me now? No. Like I told you yesterday, it's a small world. How are you? Senator, what are you doing here? I came to have a drink with you. You came to have a drink with me? Mm-hmm. What do you want from me? There is a car that is parked in a car dealership which is meant to be as a better gift to your wife, right? I want that car. What? You heard me. I said I want that car. Call Mr. Uche, the car dealer, and let him know that I am coming to pick up the car. Why are you doing this to me? You made a way with over one million dollars belonging to Godfather. So, a car of 20 million naira, it's actually nothing to you. Did you come all the way from Italy to blackmail me here in Nigeria? Francis, do you want me to go talk to Godfather? 
I know you wouldn't want that, right? So call Mr. Uche and let him know I'm coming to pick up the car. Have a nice day. Not unless I see, I am so confused. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. My life, oh my. Hey, baby. Good evening. Good evening. I got this for you. Thank you. Hey, baby, come on. I said I was sorry, and I'll make it up to you. What is it? What is what? Are we not going to make love tonight? Yesterday you said you had headache. Now, what? Babes, I am so tired. Alright. Got a lot on my mind and I can't be thinking about that right now. Honey, what is going on? You've been acting strange since yesterday. Babes. I am tired and I used to sleep. I need to think of more ways to make money. You know? Money? At the expense of my happiness? Baby, you understand. <laughs> Babes. Babes. Don't touch me. Destiny, my boy. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning. Going for school run already. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Going for school run already. Yes. As usual. <laughs> is he inside? Yes, he's inside. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Thomas, excuse me, please. Okay. Um, baby, go to the car and wait for me, alright? It's open. Hmm. Mr. Thomas, um, please, I've been meaning to ask you something. Okay, what is it? Is my husband in any kind of trouble? Oh, none that I know of. Well, why do you ask? Why did he cancel my birthday party? Oh, honestly, I don't know. Well, he should be in the best position to answer that. Okay. All right then. Okay, no problem. All right. Yeah. Yes. The visas are out already. So I want to live in two weeks' time with my family. Oh, yeah, so oh. I want you to... Yeah, so I want you to book the flights for all of us, okay? All right, get back to me as soon as possible. All right. Mommy! Franco! I'm fine. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Ah. Uh, it seems like you're already making arrangements for the vac in Dubai. My son's summer break is in a week, so we're going two weeks' time. Oh, oh. Okay. Mm. Francis. Oh. Do you didn't know sir? that your wife is not happy? Why so? The birthday party. And it seems like you didn't tell her why you cancelled the party. Listen, she just forget the birthday party is gone. All right, that's my wife. Don't worry about it. She'll be fine. Anyway, I got to send this marriage very important, okay? Okay. One second. You better be careful. You better be careful. The things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. Life is a long way to go. 
Good afternoon, my love. Senate. Thank you for the car last night. Mm. You're such a darling. You know, unless you darken my door with your shadow, the better for us. You know that, right? I'm sorry, my love. I don't want to take much of your time. What do you want? I know you're planning to take your wife and son to Dubai in two weeks. How do you know that? And how is that any of a business anyway? I want you to cancel that trip. <laughs> Listen, if you insist on going to Dubai, you have to take me. I ask again. How did you find out that I was going to Dubai with my family? <laughs> How come she knew so much about me? Who has been feeding her with information? She seems to know too much. Blackmail. Blackmail must never stop. No one she knows yet that I made over a million dollars in Milan. I won't let her make me try. And I cannot let her talk to Godfather about what she knows about me. Godfather will come after me and my family. I must do something drastic about her. I must fix this. Nonetheless, I see. I am so confused. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. My life, oh my life, is falling apart. And I truly don't know Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, hi. You must be Reginald, right? Uh, yes. My cousin's wife. I am Regina. You're my <laughs> husband's cousin. Yes, I just got back from Italy. But he has never mentioned anything about you before. About Honey? Before. Uh, baby. Who's there? Uh, she said she's your Hello. cousin. Hello, good evening. <laughs> yes, it's been a long time. Yeah, I didn't actually believe you when you said you are coming to Nigeria. Oh, come on. You didn't believe me? And yet you sent me the house address? <laughs> oh, oh, stop it. Well, 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 welcome. Um, honey, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This is my cousin. She's based in Italy. Oh, really? Well, honey, yeah. how come you have never mentioned anything about her before? Mm. That's because she went against my will and I decided to cut her off. Well, not just him. I mean, the entire family avoided me. Just because I followed the man I was in love with. Oh, mm. but that's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him. Yeah. I, I, I thought you said you were going to stay in the hotel. Yeah. Well, I came to spend a day or two here first. Come on. <laughs> it's okay. Let me help you. Thank you. Come on. You're welcome. Let me Thank help you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I am so confused. Good to be home. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. My life, oh my life, oh, my life is falling oh, apart I, And I truly don't know what else to do, to do. <sighs> Why hasn't he come to find out what I'm doing in his house? Eh? 
It seems like he wants me to go meet him in his bedroom. What is wrong with this devil? How can I sleep tonight when I know I have a dangerous snake in my house? Good morning. Good morning. You're awake? Yes, I am. How was your night rest? Sure, I did. Good. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. Son, meet Auntie Zenet, mm. your father's cousin. She lives in Italy. Welcome, Auntie Zenet. Thank you, darling. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> what do you bring for me from Italy? Mm. Um, okay, don't worry, all right? By the time you get back from school, you will see what I got for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, let me quickly take him to school. I'll be with you shortly. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> hey. Hmm. Uh, pick up my own headset. What are you doing in my house? Hello, honey. You're here. Don't be stupid. You better quit this game that you're playing before it consumes you. Come on, Nani. You shouldn't be threatening your guests this way. Just be a good boy. Zanin, listen to me and listen to me carefully, okay? You better get out of this house and never show your face here again. I'm sure that you wouldn't want your wife to know that you are a drug dealer. Get out of my house and leave my family out of this. Okay. Then give me what I want. What do you want? 80% of your asset. And I will peacefully walk away. You must be out of your freaking mind. You think so? I have details of your assets. You have to give me 80% of what you have. 80% or I am going to mess you up. You're mad. You think so? You get out of here, you demon. You created this demon. You messed up my life, and I am going to mess yours up if you don't give me 80% of your wealth. Senate. Listen to me. You listen. I am not leaving this house until you give me what I want. 80% or nothing. You made away with 1.950 kg worth of cocaine that belongs to Godfather. Five years ago. Zanet. 
Do you know I can kill you here, right? <laughs> and you think that I am a fool? Of course I knew that you would be tempted to harm me. Now listen and listen carefully. If my friend doesn't hear from me from every two hours, she will take the evidence to Godfather. Do you understand? Thomas. Oh, Regina. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How uh, are you? Uh, I'm good. I just dropped Destiny off at school and I decided to pick one or two things. Okay. Same here. I just got stuff for breakfast. I see. Mm -hmm. So how are your kids? They're doing well. So fine. So how is Francis, your husband? Ah, uh, Francis is okay. But Mr. Thomas, uh, I would like to ask you something. What is it? Do you know any of my husband's cousin that lives in Italy? Cousin? Yes. A lady by name, Zenet, came to our house last night and my husband said she's his cousin. But I... Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I've heard about her. Yes. Uh, I've not really met her in person because she stays in Italy, according to your husband. Oh. Yeah, I've heard about her. Uh, okay. Uh, it's fine. Um, let me quickly pick one or two things. Let me run along. Just pick the things you want. I will just clear the bill. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I'm coming right away. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Thomas Hyde, how far? I'm fine. What is going on with you? I said, nothing is going on, okay? I'm just thinking of something. Okay. Um, who is the Zenith lady in your house? How do you know her? Your wife. Uh, we met at the mall this morning, and uh, during our conversation, she mentioned your cousin that you from Italy by name Zenith. And what did you tell her? She asked if I knew her and well I played along and I told her I've heard about her, but I don't really know her in person. Good. You did well. Now who is she? Now she's just somebody I did business with and it got complicated and you know, well, don't worry, I'll fix it. Don't, don't worry about it. What is she doing in your house? Hey, listen, I said I will fix it. Listen, let's talk about something else. Hey, your car, the car you bought. When is it coming in from the UK? I am so confused. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. My life, oh my life, is falling apart. And I truly don't know what else to do.
What is it? Your wife is acting funny. You have to come back home. What's the problem? Just come back home. I, I don't know. She's suddenly slumped in the sitting room. What happened to her? I don't know. She suddenly slumped in the sitting room and stopped moving her body. Hey, babes. Babes. Hey. Oh, my God. Get the door. Oh. Get the door. Come here. Because the last time I left this place, she was fine! I didn't do anything to her. I only told her the truth about you. What truth? That you are a drug dealer! And also the reason I came here! Perhaps out of shock, she screamed and slumped on the chair. You bastard! You bastard! You bastard! You bastard! <laughs> You're your life and don't of your son. Your son will not be spared. <coughs> you can kill me if you want. But you and your son, you're going down too. You're a bastard. <coughs> you killed my wife. No, I didn't kill your wife. I only told her the truth about you. Destiny with me. Let him come and stay with me for some time. 
Yeah, that's a very good idea. Listen, come, let us go and get your bag so we can go to my house. Hmm? You will stay with Grandma. Francis. Hey. You still haven't told me who that Zenith girl is and what she's doing in your house. Thomas, I told you I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Why was she not at the cemetery for the burial? I don't know. Maybe she had her own reasons. Uh, what could her reason be? Like I said, I don't know. Listen, I've got to go back in. Thanks for coming, man. I appreciate it. Anything for you. Just take it easy. I, so. see. I am so confused. confused. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. My life, oh my life, oh, my life is falling apart. What is it? What is it? We need to talk. Talk about what? About us. You and I. Us? Which us? <sighs> Hello. Morning, Doc. <sighs> okay. No worries, I'll come to you. Yes, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll come to you right now. Yeah, give me a few, give me a few minutes. Right. Where are you going to? Your eyes are your business. But I just told you that we have to talk. Okay, fine. We'll talk when I get back. And if you can't wait, then you can bloody well go to hell. Now, get out of my way. Fan sex. Hello? Where are you? Okay. Listen, he just left the house right now in a hurry. I want you to follow him up and find out where he's headed to. Hmm? Yes, and get back to me immediately. All right. Mr. Francis? I was about coming to your house. I wonder why you insisted I shouldn't come. They told me that the autopsy results were out. Well, yes, the result is out and... Um, oh, yeah. It shows that your wife was poisoned to death. We found traces of pancuronium bromide in her, in her system. What is that? It's a muscle relaxant that... Uh, when taking in overdose, kills. But Mr. Francis, if I may ask, who was with her during her death? Because someone might have injected that into her system.
Yes. Where did he go to? Hospital? What did he go to the hospital to do? Can you find out for me? Please try and find out, eh? Yeah. Thank you. Hospital. Nonetheless, I see. I am so confused. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. My life, oh my life. It's falling apart And I truly don't know what else to do Nonetheless I see I am so confused I don't know what else to do I don't know what else to do My life, oh my life it's falling apart And I truly don't know what else to do So you wanted to talk? Oh yes Well you got my attention Are you giving me 80% of your asset or not? Yes. Or do you want me to go talk to Godfather? Said I can give you 80% of my asset. I can give you maybe... My demand is non-negotiable. You can't say that. Mr. Francis, I would have loved to take everything away from you. But for the sake of your person, I decided to leave 20% for you. Sally, why are you doing this? Mm. So that in your next word, when someone comes to you for help, and you do not want to help, you can then or simply say no, rather than introduce the person to drug trafficking for your own selfish end. You made me become this soulless and heartless bitch. It is 80% or no deal. You get that? Okay. I've heard you. Good. Do we have a deal? We have a deal, but you might need to give me some time to work on the modalities to transfer my assets. Two days. You have just two days. Hmm? Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm alone. I can talk. <laughs> you know what? He has agreed to play ball. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, don't be too greedy, okay? There's no way I'm going to share it equally with you. Let's do 60, 40. <sighs> you know what? In fact, let's meet at my hotel room tomorrow, okay? Crystal Hotel, 
by 10 a.m. All right. Good night to you. My friend, sorry, I was dressing up for work when the message came that you wanted to see me. It's cool. How are you? I'm fine, sir. All right. I need you to do something for me. Do you still work at the Crystal Hotel? Of course. I'm dressed for work already. Okay. Okay, that's good. I need you to do something for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. What is it, sir? Do you know this woman? I think I've seen her around. Yeah, I know her. Okay, good. Her name is Zenit. And she's currently lodged in your hotel. Yeah, I remember her now. Do you know what room she's lodged in? I can easily find out. Is that what I want to do for you? Yes. Um, I will pay you. Two million naira, if you can do this for me. Wow. All right. Here's a camcorder. Take it. I want you to record her when she gets into her room. And I will pay you two million naira. And now I will pay you an extra one million naira if you don't ask me what I want to use it for. I wanted to ask you why you wanted me to record her. Okay, now do you want the answer to that? Or do you want an extra one million? Does anyone know about this? Just me and you. Okay, I'm doing it. You, my friend, have just made yourself three million naira butcher, all right? Okay. You want me to drop you off at work? Okay, I'll mind.
Hello? Where are you? Come on, I'm already at the hotel, eh? Be very fast. Thank you. already <clears throat> is he already thank god it's like he was following me from behind For the more you look, the more you look, go be the less you see, go be the less you see. and you go they confused. confused. So tell you no go know no what else to do. No you go come the cry oh my life, oh my life, it's falling apart. Hi Dave, I'm fine. You alright? Alright. Got something for me? Yeah, this camera. Fabulous. Alright, thank you, eh? You're welcome. I will have your balance of one million sent to your account. Okay, thank All you, right? sir. No problem. Take care of yourself. You're welcome, sir. Hey, how are you? Before the more you look, the more you look, go be the less you see, go be the less you see, and you go they confused. Are you traveling? No. Why do you ask? Nothing. I hope you remember. You have just one day left to do the need for. Oh, you're here already. Yeah, I was at the Sorry. neighborhood when you called. Thomas. Yeah. You're here already. Yeah, I was at the neighborhood when you called. Okay, please sit down. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, Sandy. You want a drink? No, 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 no please. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down, please. Is there anything the matter? Nothing's the matter. I just want you to sit down. All right. Thank you. Uh, hmm. Um, I'm just curious. I mean, do you two know each other? What's that supposed to mean? It's a simple question. Do you know her? Does she know you? I don't know her. Why do you ask? Hmm. Mr. Francis, respect yourself and don't push me. Sit your ass down or I will shoot you where you stand. What do you... Sit down right now! And you, you get up and you join her. Okay, so, got one question for you. You guys met at the Crystal Hotel. What was the reason for your meet? Don't even bother, it's okay. You're gonna lie to me anyway. But it's fine. I played 
for you guys. Listen, once we get the 80% of his wealth tomorrow, we'll make sure we take the remaining 20% from him also. You want to take everything away from him? Yes. See, I will make sure he begs for food in this town. My passive. So it was you all along. You were the one feeding her with information about me. How could you do that to me? I thought I was your friend. But it's okay. I will come back to you later. Now you, why did you kill my wife? I mean, what did she do to you? She was innocent. Why did you kill my wife? You abandoned me when I was nabbed by the police in Italy. I abandoned you. So why did you go and kill my wife? She knew nothing about it. She was innocent. Why did you kill me instead? Princess, please. Oh, you shut up. You know what? Make yourself useful. Here. Look in there. Yeah. There's a syringe in there. Bring it out. Bring it out. Good. Now I want you to inject this bitch with that. Okay? <laughs> Please, you can't do this! I beg you. Shut me. up! Shut up! I beg you. Shut up! The irony of life. You injected my wife with that and it killed her. Now I'm, I'm going to inject you with the same shit that you injected her with. Now you Please. inject her. Oh, I'll put a bullet no. in her right now. <laughs> out that I stole his cocaine, I will release this video for the world to see. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Yes. Do yeah. you understand? Y yes. Please, please. I, I, I won't mention it to anyone. Please don't kill me. Please. But get out of my house and take this dead bitch with you. Where do I take her to? You take her to your house, your family, for your children, your wife to feed her, you idiot! You take her to the lagoon and you dump this body, you dump this shit in there. Get out of my house! For everything you do, you better be careful. You better be careful. The things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. Life is a long way to go. It's a long way to go. Baby, I am so sorry. It was my fault. If I hadn't gone into drug trafficking, perhaps you would still be alive now. I have stopped trafficking and I would never go back to it again. I promise to bring up our son to be everything good. I never follow my vicious circle in the pursuit of happiness. I will forever love you, my Regina. I see, I am so calm. 